Hello Virgo. If you are caring about the cards, we are using the Gilded Reverie Lenormans. And then I also be pulling a card from Sonia Chuckett's Ask Your Guides and Doreen Virtue's Crystal Angels cards. And bottom of the deck, put these over here. I also have my Sibylas shuffled and prepared. And I do have a second deck of Lenormans, my Bluebirds, if we need clarifiers along the way. So, okay. I'm not going to move them a whole lot. Should be zoomed in fairly close so that you can see them. And I'll put those out for you to see them. Oh, good. They are in the camera. Excellent. Okay. So what we have, just so to tell you what the cards are real quick. We've got the man, the stork, the letter. Then we have fox. We have the moon. It is reverse upright. So you can see the graphics real quick. And... Got it zoomed in so I don't have to keep moving these all the time because the table is very slick. Okay. So after the moon, we have the coffin, sun, and then we have choice paths, and then the bear. So the cards, what we have in the past, we have this man, fox, and the sun. So looking at, you know, this is resources. So it could be love, it could be money, could be love. <laughs> okay. So this man. Now, you know, in this deck, there are two men. Now, this is the man. It's, you know, he's waiting for his lover. He's got this rose in hand. He's, he's looking, looking, waiting. He's very patiently awaiting her. He's got, you know, tremendous fortitude, endurance, tolerance, patience. But this is about love. We have Amore, Gran Signore, and Pensiero. So this is, for most of you, this is love. So for most of you, this is someone that, you know, you met and you met him and, you know, he was this, you know, blessing, this gift. You were so thankful to have met him. So thankful to have started because you had this very brief start with him. He's very charming. Things were, you know, going very well, but things were not as they seemed. Things were not as they appeared. So you were thinking this was gonna turn into this happily ever after, you would be together forever, and then that didn't happen. Now for some of you that did not happen because he went to be with someone from the past. And I'm gonna show you the rest of these clarifying cards on him as we work our way through this. But this was someone you met, you're like, oh my gosh, this is it, this is the one. So the card that's in the center, this is the card that is the focus of the issue. And you have the moon. Now the moon is all about love, romance, intuition. It can be, you know, about getting recognition from others. Sometimes this can be speaking about work. It can be speaking about things that are in the evening, in the nighttime. Now it is reversed. So you're feeling kind of upside down in love. You, you have this dream, this picture of what you want in a relationship, in a partnership. You don't have that. For a number of you, that is really bothering you. You want that with him. You don't have that with him. You're feeling just really upset. You're, you're also not feeling rec recognized, acknowledged, like he doesn't see who you are. So for a number of you, you are in fact twin flames. He is your twin. But you're feeling like, okay, he doesn't even recognize who I am. He doesn't even understand our connection. Now, what has led to that, this card right here is, you know, what is it that provoked this issue? What started this issue? He did because you're not feeling loved by him. You're not feeling that it's reciprocated for a number of you. For most of you, you are not even in communications with each other. Because what we have in the present, we have the, the stork, the moon, and then the, the path, the choice. You're not emotionally happy at this point. You're not emotionally content. You don't have this love that you desire. You want to be building your nest, but you're not building your nest at this point. And you're contemplating making this big change, moving in a completely new direction because you don't feel that this love is reciprocated. You don't feel as though he has any feelings for me. You're not in communication with him. So you're like, Why, what am I doing? Why? I'm not getting what I want. I'm not getting what I need. I'm not getting what I desire. I, I don't want to build a nest on my own. But you're still undecided. You haven't made the choice yet. You're thinking about it because the store can, you know, granted they're building a nest, but the stores can also be about a big change, movement, going in a completely different direction, an upgrade, an improvement. So you're thinking about going in a new direction. You're thinking about finally just letting that go, just being done. It's been so long. You're just like, you know, I don't need this. I'm ready. I'm ready to build my nest. Now in the future, we have the letter, the coffin, and the bear. Now 
because obviously a letter is about, you know, some message, some document, but it's also about communications that are taking a very long time to come in. Slow communications that really requires a lot of patience. So in the future, th this message is still not coming in, still not there because a lot of you, this not hearing from him, not communicating, not moving forward has put you in a state of sadness, a state of depression, like feeling like, okay, it's, it's a lost cause. And, and you've been in that for some of you, you've been in that state for a while. So for most of you, th this communication from him is not going to be arriving just yet. It's not, it's going to take a few, four months or so they're saying three, four months. Okay. For some of you, four or five months. Um, but it's going to take a little more time, the, the communication, because what they're saying, this future row is what's going to be happening for approximately the next two weeks. You're waiting for this communication. You really want this communication. It's going to be coming in. You just, it's not going to be coming in right now. And what they're encouraging you to do, because not only is this the future, this is what they're encouraging you to do. The coffin, interesting. So if the car, if the cards were laid like this, because this is first, second, third, first, second, third, whatever is at the foot in this deck of cards, whatever's at the foot is what's, you know, what's over, what's transitioning. And then this is, this is the new. So they are encouraging you in order to transition, in order to transform this situation to stop focusing. You see how this is looking forward, not focused on the past, not focused on this letter, not focused on the communication. He's got his onk facing the future, looking, stepping into the power. So this communication is not going to be coming in the next couple weeks, but you're being encouraged to stop focusing on it. Stop worrying about it. Stop stressing about it. Just really just let it go. Let God, let go, let God deal with it. You focus on stepping into your power because the bear is all about power, authority. It's the authoritative figure. Oftentimes it's the feminine, it's the mother, it's the grandmother, but this can be any authoritative figure, but this is someone who steps into their power. This is also resources. So for some of you, just focus on work, focus on building your empire, focus. Some of you are starting businesses, focus on that. And the rest of us will fall into place when it's meant to. Now, for some of you, you're going to be receiving some news about your mother and her health. Not to be anything super scary. Maybe she just needs surgery. Maybe she needs a knee replacement and she's going to need someone to take care of her during the time of the surgery. But you'll be finding that out in the next couple of weeks that, hey, mom or grandma is going to need some help for you because this can be about health. This is health. This is mother. Some of you, your mom or your grandmother is going to need your help with her health while she recovers. And at the same time, you're juggling work, you're juggling all those things. So that's going to help you take your focus off of wondering when this communication is going to come in. Now for a very tiny number, it may be just one or two. If you do keep in mind that this is a general reading, I didn't say in the beginning, this is a general reading. It's for a lot of people. So you may find that the messages don't apply with you. That's okay. They're general. They're not always going to apply with everyone, but this message may be for only one or two people. Because most of you, majority of you, this is a relationship that you are not in. You're not communicating. You're waiting on those communications. Now, for a couple of you, you've not been happy. Things haven't been going well. And this is, they're saying, this is for a couple of you that you are actually in a relationship with, with this man. And this is going to be an individual message for this tiny group separate from most of it they're saying. So things haven't been going well. You're, you're stressed. You're not happy. You know, it, he's not talking that much. You're not talking much. You're wondering what the heck is going on. Some of you think that there's someone else, but there's not. So for some of you, there is a financial for this tiny group, one or two of you, there was a finding. So in the next couple of weeks, you're going to get some message, some information, some communication with him. It may initially start as a heated argument. Try to keep cool when you have that argument, because for some of you, you're thinking, okay, well, he's not in the relationship. He's not communicating. He must have someone else. He's in love with someone, something else gone. No, he made um, a financial, he invested in something financially. It did not go well. He was expecting to reap some tremendous rewards and benefits that would have been an amazing thing that he could have shared with you. Surprise, honey, look how much money we made. But instead it did not go well at all. And he is fearful of sharing that information with you, but he will be sharing that information with you in the next couple weeks. Now for the rest of you that are not together, you're not talking to this guy, the basic issue, which would be this card, this card, this card, and this card, is you're trying to remain strong and you're trying to stay in the state of patience and optimism 
uh, hoping and looking forward to this communication. You're waiting, you're, you know that it's gonna bring you happiness. You know he's the one for you. you. For those of you that are twins, you know he's your other half. You know it's gonna bring you fulfillment. You know it's what's going to totally transform things and turn things around. But you're having a hard time having patience and it is going to bring you happiness. So what they're saying is because again, the basic issue is the man, the bear, the letter, and the sun. When this communication comes in, it is going to make you so happy. You're going to be very, very happy when it comes in. It's just not here yet. That's all. Now, the hidden issue would be the stork, the fox, the coffin, and the path choice. So what you are not aware of what's hidden, what's unknown to you at this time is, for some of you, he did in fact move in a direction of a new beginning. And I'm going to move these again in a order so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Now again, remember, whatever's to the left of the feet's done, it's dead, it's over. Transition, moving in the new direction is what is at the head of the coffin. So, in the past, he did leave to go build a nest with someone else. He did move in a new direction. He did move to someone from his past. He did move away from you to be with someone from his past. You were thinking it was going to be this great, wonderful thing, but you didn't know that he was, he had plans with someone else. So for some of you, he was already in a relationship with someone else. Could have been married, could have been engaged, could have been romantically involved with someone where they had business intertwined. But you don't know that that's completely over now. That's dead, that's finished, it's, it's complete. It is permanently over and finished. And that he is now contemplating moving in your direction. But again, that's what's unknown to you at this point. And the reason he didn't want me to show you these cards all the way yet. So for some of you, he has money. For some of you, he's wealthy. Because we have Amore, which of course is love. And then you have the Gran Signore, which this is the, the Lord, the man who is very wealthy. And then you have Pensiero, this is thought, it's reflection, contemplation. So he is contemplating, you see he's got the, the scroll he's got his pens here matching same thing you got the feather pen and the paper he is contemplating communicating with you he's contemplating reaching out to you he's still thinking about it the past is done the past is over he just he hasn't gotten to the point of having that courage to, to reach out and do that just yet now for some of you we have this sun the stork and the bear so for some of you you're going to find over the next couple weeks you're going to have some health improvements so who knows maybe maybe it's something minor maybe you've got a cold and it's finally going to go away for others of you it could be something a little bit more of a long-term condition something but but you're going to start to notice some improvements in your health and for some of you it could be maybe you made some new year's changes and you're going to start to see the benefits and the rewards of that and for others of you, this is saying that things are going to look up, things are going to improve when you, when you focus, because again, the stork is, you know, change, movements. So when you focus on your power, focus on you, focus on your power, focus on your business, focus on moving things forward for you, that's going to help things. That's going to also help things move along with him. That's going to also just, it's also just going to get you to a better place mentally. Instead of just focusing on, oh my gosh, I'm going to hear from them, because that's that's a state of lack, because you're coming from me. I don't hear from him. I've not heard from him. So if you just don't focus on it at all, let go, let God, and just focus on you, your business, your work, your career, your happiness, your sexuality. Focus on that, and you'll notice that's going to get things moving in other areas. Now, again, he is in this point of contemplation making the choice to communicate with you that's where he's at so the next couple weeks he's in this state of contemplation he's thinking about writing he's not doing it you notice he's not sitting at the desk with the pen he's walking by the desk he's thinking about it he's deep in thought how am i going to tell her how am i going to bust the information the news to her so just keep these in case we pull them out so the other piece they're saying is to just 
stay in a state of trust and, and optimism and such because this card's also reverse. So for some of you, you're having a difficult time listening to your intuition. This is your overall energy. This is at the bottom of the deck. This is the owls. This deck has two birds cards. It has the birds, has the owls. The owls are about listening to wisdom from others. This is also about listening to your inner wisdom, listening to the divine guidance. Really just looking at things and looking at the signs. So for some of you, because your intuition is saying, it's not over. Your intuition is saying it's not over. For some of you, your intuition is even on point saying, hey, he's he's going to be coming back. He's going to be reaching out. This, you know, but nothing else for what you're seeing at this point. Your intuition is telling you he's the one. Your intuition is telling you he's, he's going to come back. This is going to work. Oh my gosh, you're going to have this happiness. You're going to have all these things that you desire. Your intuition's right. You're just not seeing that yet. They're encouraging you to listen to your intuition. They're also encouraging you to trust the signs that they are giving you because they are giving you a lot of signs at this time. So listen to those signs, pay attention to those signs, and trust those signs. Now, for those of you, I have not shuffled these cards, so let's shuffle these real quick. Let's find out when he's going to. When will he be communicating with you? That is, oh, there it is. <laughs> that's funny. Since that's the question of the hour, he will be communicating with you. Yeah, it's four months from now. That's what they were saying. Awesome. I love it when they give signs to match what they're saying. Okay. Now, in the meantime, what the angels are recommending for you, you have two cards. You have the first card. This is life force. Now, if you look at this, you see how she's she's rising from this water lily from this lotus and she's got this big heart and then she's got her divine guidance over here and she's just stretching in that flower she's wiggling she's got this heart illuminated over her sacral chakra her solar plexus because again you know that it kept kept saying you your power your life force so you're being encouraged because those two chakras, your solar plexus, your sacral chakra. For all of you, they're encouraging you to step into your sexuality again. Some of you have been at a point where you're just not feeling very sexual. Maybe it's been a number of years since you've been intimate with someone. Maybe you're just not feeling that great about yourself. But it's time to start feeling good about yourself again. It's time to start feeling sexy again because you are sexy you are beautiful start to feel that again for some of you maybe take a belly dancing class take a salsa dancing class take something so you can start to move your body in a sensual way again so you can because what you'll find is that's going to start to build your confidence and it doesn't matter what our body because a lot of times we'll, we'll be really hard on ourselves and we are the worst judges of ourselves <laughs> we are always the worst on ourselves but you'll notice like a lot of belly dancers, like a lot of us will be really hard on ourselves because it's like, oh, my stomach's not super flat. I don't have a six pack. Well, the most gorgeous sexual belly dancers are those who have a little wiggle to their jiggle. That's what makes the belly dance beautiful because it gets the chains, it gets everything moving. That's what's sexy. If somebody stepped out that was just super skinny, flat stomach, six pack they wouldn't have anything to get that motion that sexual sensual motion going when they're doing the belly dancing so embrace how sexy you are regardless of what your shape is regardless of what your size is it's time for you to start loving all of you again because he's coming back and you've got about four months to get ready and it will be on fire and it's going to be hot and steamy so you need to be ready to be hot and steamy again you need to start loving all of you again you got your heart got your heart Start loving yourself again and everything about yourself and get into that sensuality. And for others of you, in addition to loving that sensual, sexual, feminine power side of yourself, also this is in the creative area. So for those of you that are wanting to step into creating something new, creating a new business, maybe you're looking into starting to do some, some new hobby that could at some point down the road turn into a business venture for you. Start doing that because you'll find that that's going to fuel the fire for you. That's going to get you excited about life again because for some of you, you have lacked excitement. You've been stressed with life. You got a lot going on in life, but you're just not enjoying it. But if you can do something that's tapping into that creative side, something that you're just really interested in, something that you just really want to do, 
but you have it because there's this overly responsible side of you. Just do it. Jump in and do it. Last card you have is Watermelon Tourmaline. At the bottom it says stress reduction, de-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest, recharge, and revive. Now I'm going to read this book for you. This deck, it talks about all different crystals. So it would benefit you to get some watermelon tourmaline. So this card appears whenever there's a need to de-stress your mind, body schedule, and so forth. You already know which life areas are triggering your elevated stress levels. God and your guardian angels are empowering you to reduce them by taking charge of your schedule and surroundings. You are encouraged to introduce stress management practices into your daily life, such as prayer and meditation, gentle exercise, time spent in nature, fun hobbies, massage, naps, and chemical-free diet. This is also a message about simplifying your life. Look for tasks you can release or ways to clear clutter from your schedule. When there is too much vying for your attention, you will get fragmented. It's possible to get addictively hooked on drama under the mistaken belief that it is exciting. However, it's much more pleasurable to have a peaceful excitement in which you can create the soothing and harmonious life that you desire and deserve. About water tourmaline, this beautiful granite stone is translucent green on the outside and deep pink on the inside, hence the watermelon name. Watermelon tourmaline is a soothing crystal that helps with simplifying and de-stressing your life. So hopefully that helps you. Fills a lot of love, joy, and blessings.